Hello everyone, welcome to this educational presentation of how to become a more consistent trader with the Dynamic Duo. Now, I'd like to talk today about our Dynamic Duo, which is a high probability method, and we feel it's one of our most consistent packages for really getting you in tune and being in sync with the market and being a more consistent trader. Now, for example, let's look at this chart right here. This is a chart in NOW, and this happened at the mid to end of January. Well, let's talk about how most people will look at a trade due to the fact of how they've studied or a class they've taken. And let's see how they would analyze this. For example, someone would look at this and say, well, there's not really much happening here. And the chat room I go to on a daily basis really says that we're in a range market. And I like to follow what these guys say in our trading room and the chat room. And so they always say to stay away from range markets as they'll get you in trouble. You'll be whipsawed. You'll buy when it should go down and then you'll sell when it goes back up. So uh, you, most likely would stay away from this if you're a range market uh, type of analyst. Where someone else would say, no, no, Steve, I took that uh, five or $10,000 class where it's all about support and resistance. We follow what the volume is and what the institutions are doing. And there's real resistance right here. This is where all the institutions are selling. So I wouldn't want to touch this. I'll most likely short this or at least stay on the sidelines because they're telling me that there's a lot of resistance at this level. That's why we can't get through it, okay? This is the way most traders trade. They're taking their ideas or their decision-making process from someone or something outside of the market. What we teach you at Specialist Trading or Pro Trader Strategies is actually something different, something that is based on listening to the market, to the chart in front of you. And with a few simple rules, you could have actually found out that there was a buy signal generated right here on the 24th of January. And then just about two or three weeks later, the stock went up 47 points. So we're gonna show you just two simple rules today that are applied to this particular method. And we're gonna show you how simple it is to trade with the dynamic duo. So welcome once again, this promises to be a great presentation today. My name is Stephen Primo, president and founder of Specialist Trading. 10 years ago, I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies with one goal in mind, and that was to simply educate you as traders. We don't promise to have a $10,000 system that never fails. We don't promise to uh, teach you some methods that will uh, base them off some uh, system or that all you have to do is simply take them each and every time and you'll retire in six months. We don't believe in that. In fact, all we want to do is educate you so that you don't have to listen and rely on these things that you have for the past maybe year or two, maybe 10 years, that really have shown no levels of consistency. And I'm saying that from firsthand experience because when I first started trading some four decades ago, that's the way I, I was taught. And trust me, it didn't help me back then, so it's not about to change now. So as you just uh, learned, I've been trading for over four decades. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the trading floor for a total of 16 years, and nine of those years I was a specialist. That's where we get the name specialist trading. A specialist is just someone who specialized in making markets and roughly about 50 or 60 stocks. So if you wanted to buy or sell a particular issue or equity, you called your broker. The broker in turn would contact the floor broker and then he would walk up to the specialist and say, I wanted to buy or sell that particular stock. So that's what I did. I made markets in roughly about 50, 60 stocks for nine years. I traded during the crash of 1987, made markets during that and the bull market that followed. So I've experienced just about every market environment you can think of. On top of that, I've experienced just about every market system or trading technique you can think of. So in my four decades plus of trading, I know what works in terms of consistency and I know what doesn't. So why waste your time, your energy, and most especially your hard earned money searching for that when you don't have to go any further than uh, the presentations that we have. We, each week we try to leave you with something educational so that you can apply to your own trading and hopefully you'll become a student of ours and want to get more education as well. So this is what we do at Specialist Trading. And I'm going to share with you two of the rules to the dynamic duo method today. But before we begin, as always, we're first required to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results, a lot of charts and different markets and time frames. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And also, please remember that all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. <clears throat> now, with that said, I'd also like to invite each and every one of you to follow us on Twitter. I know a lot of you have done so already. We have a, a, a large following, but if you haven't, I post a lot of free uh, information on a daily basis, a lot of educational things from signals that our strategies have generated 
to actual little bits of financial wisdom along that I've accu uh, accumulated along the way. So uh, lots of great uh, free education, a lot of great source for learning things. So feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now, once again, as I stated in the opening statements of this presentation, we're a little bit different from other webinars you may have attended and that our only goal is simply to educate you, all right? We're not here to force feed you signals. Even though our strategies provide signals, we give you a, a, a vast array of different ways in which to trade them. A lot of variables, a lots of different ways. So ultimately, you can make your own decision as to how you want to trade. Our concept is to teach you how to trade so that you can be in charge of your own decision-making process. In other words, no two traders should ever trade alike. That, in my opinion, is a recipe for disaster. You should be given a basic foundation of a method to trade, and then you should be able to work with it after that and to fit it to meet your own needs. So that's what we do at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies. Our goal is not to trade for you. Our goal is simply to teach you how to trade with the Specialist Edge. Now, this is going to be conducted like a classroom today since we are an educational co uh, company. So I want you to ask as many questions as possible, but please wait till the end of today's presentation to ask any questions. I promise this won't be a long one, maybe about 30 minutes, and then we can reserve the last portion of our time for questions. Uh, the only question I will answer is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. We record all of our webinars. So if you have to leave early or if you're having technical issues, we will send each and every one of you a link to this recording, okay? So please, we have a good crowd here today. If you joined us late, please wait till the end of the uh, presentation to ask any questions. Now, with that said, let's begin today's class. Okay, so trading the markets today, although it can be simple in some terms, it's difficult for most traders because we've just about all been taught the same way, which holds no consistency. So in order to trade the markets today to really get that extra added level of consistency, you need what we call a one-two punch. I'm going to share with you two edges today that make up our dynamic duo. Now, the first edge you need is a consistent trading plan that's based off of market behavior. Now, you notice I focus on market behavior right here because we're not basing it off of, uh, you know, some system that, uh, you know, never loses or some indicator that you've never heard of or some uh, something that someone's saying in a trading room or what some analyst is saying. We don't base any of our methods off that. We base it purely off of listening to what the market is telling us. Now, once we have listened to the market, what it's telling us, then we want it to be consistent. Now, by consistent, we do not mean that it doesn't fail. It will have some losses from time to time. That's okay. What you want is a reliable method that's able to recoup those losses. You see, many times, so many students, myself included, when I was first starting out, would purchase this method that had tremendous statistics going back 10, 20 years how it made so much money, okay? And then when you first start trading, well, it works pretty well. But then when it went into a drawdown, you'd give it all back. See, that's not consistency. When your trading uh, you know, P&L looks like a roller coaster, when it's going straight up, then goes all the way back straight down, then goes straight up again, there's no consistency in that. What you want to see is a nice orderly upward trend to your profit and loss. And that's what consistency means, a two-step forward, back-step uh, approach. So it's okay if you have losses from time to time. There's nothing wrong with that as long as your method is consistent enough to recoup those losses sooner than later. So we need a method that is consistent and based off of market behavior. Now, at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies, that method is strategy number four. This is one of the first methods that I was taught by my mentors on the floor some 40 years ago, and I've been using it on a daily basis in some capacity. Let me share with you some of the highlights of this particular method. It's for all traders, so it does not matter if you're a beginner or an advanced trader. In other words, it doesn't matter if you've been trading 30 years or 30 minutes. We have hedge fund traders trading this. We also have people that have never traded before because everyone gets the same basic format. And then, as I said earlier, we work out from there to meet your needs. Now, it was originally designed for traders looking to catch these quick momentum moves. When I was first trading it on the floor, I would be in and out of trades in about two or three minutes. But we've devised ways for you to stay in the trade days, weeks, even months, if you'd like. All right. Now, the intensity level, if one were the most intense of all strategies, you couldn't even leave your computer, and three was the most relaxed, where you could just enter an order and walk away for a couple of days, it's a very modern number two level. Okay. 
It only uses one indicator. That's how simple it is. In fact, let me just state that most of our methods are extremely simple. They only use one, maybe two indicators tops, and they're based off of some type of pattern recognition, which this is. It's a pattern recognition strategy. Now, the beauty of strategy number four is that you can apply it to any time frame, any direction, and any market. So you'll see we have a bias towards stock examples today. That's because most of our students trade stocks. But I will also show you some examples in ETFs. I'll show you some examples in currency pairs and in futures and in different time frames. So just because we have a number of our examples today in daily bars and stocks does not mean that you can't trade it for currency pairs, for Bitcoin, for commodities. It makes no difference. That's the beauty of strategy number four. Now, if you become a member of our course, you receive automatic buy and sell arrows, but these are for educational purposes only, a way to check your work. Because in our courses, we teach you what to look for. Once again, you are a part of the process. We're not just some uh, systematic company that says, oh, just buy when you see an up arrow and just sell when you see a down arrow. No, we want you to know why and know what the rules are. So we teach you this first in our course so that you fully understand the process. And then we provide you with these automatic buy and sell arrows so that you can check your work to see if you're in line, okay? Now, I've been trading this long enough. I don't even need the up and down arrows. I know automatically just by looking at a chart where is strategy number four, buy and sell signal are, have been generated. So we want you to get to that level as well. Remember, our edge at specialist trading and pro trader strategies is consistency, all right? We're not promising that every trade will be a winner. We're not promising that you will retire in six months and make so much money a month. That's up to you provided you study and learn the process and then you apply your own ways in which to enter and which to exit. It's your choice as to how much money you can make or lose on a daily basis. You are in charge. Remember, as I stated in the future, we are an educational company and our only goal is to have you become a part of the decision making process, not an outside source someone in a chat room, some analyst, or some uh, you know systematic uh, uh, approach that you purchase that tells you when to buy or sell. We want you to be in charge of that. Okay, so those are the highlights. Let me share with you some of the rules, okay? I'll, in fact, I'll give you two of the rules to strategy number four, okay? The strategy actually only has three core rules. Then it has rules for stop placement and rules for exit, but the core rules for actually finding a generated setup bar are only three core rules. I'm gonna give you two of them today, okay? I'm sorry, I can't give you all of them because it wouldn't be fair for the people who are already members of the course, but I think I can share two of them with you today. Rule number one is, if you're going to generate a buy signal, if a buy signal is going to be uh, processed, it can only be entered above the 50 period simple moving average. So a buy can only be above the 50. You cannot ever buy below the 50. Remember, we talked about making you a consistent trader, become, be able to become a more consistent trader. By applying this simple rule, you will see your odds for consistency raise tremendously, okay? Now, conversely, if you are selling, well, your sell signals can only be entered and generated below the 50. This simple rule will really increase your odds for consistency. In fact, go back and look at your last 10 or 20 trades. I've often stated this, I can almost guarantee that the reason why you lost money in some of those trades was because you were buying below the 50 period and selling above. This simple rule, what we just taught you today, will really increase your odds for consistency, regardless of what strategy you're trading. Okay, so that's rule number one. Let's go on to rule number two. If we're looking for a signal to be generated in strategy number four, well, a buy signal bars must close in the top 25% of the range. In other words, when all the rules have been met for a signal bar to be generated for the long side to buy, that bar must close in the top portion of its range, the top quarter of its range. Now, conversely, if we're selling, well, obviously, we're going to be below the 50 period moving average, and that bar must close in the bottom 25% of its range. You see, this is an edge not coming from some guy in a chat room or not coming from some guy in TV or not some coming from some institution. It's coming from the market. And the market is telling you it wants to go lower on the short term. So that's when you want to enter. You see, you don't want to enter when a bar to go long, when a bar closes at the bottom, because the, the market is telling you it wants to go lower. So why would you want to enter right now? You know, you don't want to buy if it's telling you it wants to go lower. It's like you wouldn't want to buy a car if for some reason the car was telling you that my value was going to decrease, you know, by 50 or 60 percent very soon. 
So you want to buy it at a very good value. So the way you can do that is waiting to see where the uh, bar closes. Okay, so let's look and see how we can apply this to a certain setup. Let's look at IBN here. Once again, someone looking at this would say, well, Steve, I like to go to this certain chat room. And we, uh, this is one of the stocks someone was talking about. And it's kind of, you know, back and forth. It went straight up, straight down. Now it's going up again. But this close, according to this indicator we all follow, this oscillator says it's really overbought here. So most likely we want to short this, okay? Or someone else will say, no, no, this is the, the institutions are selling this. Uh, this was a false rally here, and uh, they're basing it off the earnings. The earnings are going to come out, and they're going to be very poor. So we don't want to buy this. We want to sell this, okay? Once again, all my decisions are made off of someone or something else's decision process, not the market. First rule, what is the market telling you? Well, the first rule is to apply the 50-period moving average. And where is price? Remember, if price is below, we're only looking for sell signals. But where is price? It's above the 50. So that means the market is telling us the overall trend is up. We don't want to sell anything. I don't care what some institution is doing. I don't care what some guy in the chat room is saying. You don't want to sell. We're trying to increase your odds for consistency. So this is the first piece of education I'm teaching you today. If you want to increase your odds for consistency, regardless of whatever strategy you like to trade, only buy above the 50 and only sell below the 50. All right, so we already automatically know with strategy number four, we're going to be a buyer. But we have to add a little more structure. We can't just say, well, it's above the 50, so I guess I just buy at the market. No, there's no real structure there. We need a little bit more requirement to be met. Well, here's the second rule we taught you about. We're looking for a bar to close in the top 25% of its range. So if we look at this row of bars here, we see that they're all closed either in the middle or the lower portion, the middle, the lower portion. Here we have a bar that closes in the top 25% of its range. So it meets requirement number two, all right? So now we're above the 50. We have a bar closing in the top 25% of its range. Now, just because we have these two requirements met does not mean we have a valid strategy number four signal, okay? But there are other rules that need to be met, most specifically the third rule. And just to let you know that it was met. Now, I can't divulge that once again. It wouldn't be fair to the people that are in the course already. But just to let you know, it was met. So we have a valid buy signal right here, okay? Now, depending on where you purchase this, because there are a number of ways in which to enter along, you still would have had a nice trade because look what the stock did, okay? And depending on where you exited, or where you placed your stop, maybe you wanted to trail this, you have a nice trade underneath your belt, okay? So let's say you took a quick profit, you got out, and now you're saying, boy, this stuff works pretty well. I like this kind of stuff. And then the stock starts to retrace, but it's still above the 50. And guess what? We have a number of bars here that meet all the requirements for strategy number four. We have, in fact, we have what we call a cluster of buy signals here. So, wow, three buy signals in a row. This must be a, a really high probability setup. The first one worked really nicely, so I'm going to get back in. Or if we're still holding on, I'm going to buy some more. And then this happens, okay? Now, we're not promising, once again, that every trade is going to work out. The first one worked out really nicely. The second or third or fourth one didn't work out as well. So is there a way to fine tune our entries so that we can kind of filter out some of the bad trades? And we're not going to promise or guarantee that all the bad trades are filtered out, but at least if we could increase our odds for consistency by being able to filter out. Well, this brings us to the second edge or the second part in that one-two punch. We need a tool that filters out the bad trades from the good ones, okay? Remember, we can't guarantee that every bad trade is going to be filtered out, but at least if we have a certain way of being able to know that some of these are not the high probability setups, at least we can increase our odds. Well, yes, there is a tool. This makes up part two of the one-two punch. This is the pet D. This is probably the most powerful directional tool we have. Another tool I was taught some four decades ago on the floor of the exchange, and I've been using it every day since, okay? Now, let me share with you what this uh, does. It's a proprietary tool. We're keeping the rules in-house, but we've made it easy for you because it's, it's a calculation that needs to be met on every bar. And this makes it difficult, not so difficult if you're trading daily or weekly bars, but if you're trading intraday bars, you cannot calculate this. It's very difficult. But what we've done is we've made it a color bar algorithm. So let me share with you how most people trade and find the trend and how the pet D could have helped you. Most people will look at this and say, well, yeah, we're in a downtrend. I'm either going to get out of this or maybe if I'm aggressive enough, I'm going to sell short because this is just terrible. Okay. 
And the minute you exit the trade or the minute you go short, this happens, okay? Let me show you how the Pet D can help you. Remember, the Pet D is a color bar tool that simply changes the colors from green to red. If you have a series of red bars, it's telling you the trend is down. If you have a series of green bars, the trend is up. Now, the beauty of the Pet D is that even though it's not a predictive tool, it doesn't pick the top or bottom of trends, and it doesn't tell you how long something will go down or how far something will go up, it's an early warning device telling you when a trend has been established way before any other tool I found in my four decades of trading. For example, this first two to three bars here, you would have known that we were going lower. And look how well in advance you would have known prior to that. Now, this first two or three bars here, you would have known that you're going higher. And look how you could have found out well in advance. This is how this works. So the beauty of it is that it tells you which direction you should be trading. And then once you know, you can confirm if your strategy is in sync with that direction. So this is the way we're going to use the Pet D as a confirmational tool to confirm if we should be taking that strategy number four signal. Now, when we combine strategy number four with the Pet D, we have what we call the dynamic duo, probably our most uh, consistent package that we have at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies. We have more students trading this around the world than any of our other packages because it has a high level of consistency. Plus, it's extremely simple to apply. Let's go through the process and show you how simple it is. All right, so IBM, this is what we looked at earlier. We had a buy signal generated. We're above the 50. We closed in the top portion of its range and the other rule was met, so it generated a buy signal. Now, it's a high probability signal just by using strategy number four alone, but can we increase our odds for consistency? Yes, we can, by confirming that with the pet D. So all we want to do is make sure that the bar that generated the signal right here above the arrow is colored or outlined green. That's all we need to know. It doesn't matter what the other bars prior to it were colored. It makes no difference if all of these bars were red, or it makes no difference if all of these bars were green. All we care about is that this bar is colored or outlined green, okay? So once we apply the pet D, we see that yes, it was outlined green. The reason it's outlined is because the day was up. And if the day is up, it's got an open body. So that's telling us we have a valid strategy number four and it's been confirmed by the pet D. And as we all saw earlier, we had a nice trade take place, okay? Now, in the course, we teach you different exit levels, different places to put your stops, different ways to enter. So that's all up to you. Let's say you had taken a nice profit out of this trade and you want to get back in and waiting for another signal to be generated. Well, you waited, and guess what? Three signals were generated here. Now, before you would have taken those, but now that you have the one-two punch, the dynamic duo with the pet D, you need all of these bars to be colored or outlined green. And what color are they outlined? They're outlined red. So the pet D is not confirming any of these buy signals. It's telling you that they're not in sync with the short-term trend. So you don't want to buy this. The other one was in sync with the short-term trend. This one is not. So strategy number four has a high level of consistency, but every once in a while, it will generate some losing trades. The pet D can increase your odds for consistency by simply confirming them. It's not going to you know, guarantee that 100% every trade will be a winner or loser, but sometimes the best trades are the ones you never take. Okay, so let's look at some more dynamic dual examples in stocks, and we'll show you some other markets, different time frames as well. And I also want to share with you how simple it is. If you're lucky enough to become a member of our PTS uh, Primo charting platform, you'll see the process I'm going to be sharing with you right now because all the, all the, the, uh, charts are going to be displaying have been generated using our platform and we made everything simple for it. Now you'll be able to, if you become a member of our course, you'll be able to apply the dynamic duo with any platform, TradeStation, MetaStock, Sierra Charts, MT4, but it's so simple using our platform. Let me just show you how. This is the platform that I put together with ProTrader Strategies. We developed it together and we really feel that this educational portal teaches you how to trade. Okay, so let's look at this example in ZTS. This was just a week ago at, uh, the, in February, okay? Now, price is above the 50-period moving average. And even though we open below, we close above. So we're closing above the 50. We're closing the very top portion of its range, and it meets the other requirement of the last rule. So we think that there's a strategy number four signal right here, okay? 
Maybe we've become a member of the course for the first week. We've studied all the, the course material. We've watched all the videos and we're starting to learn how to identify them. And this is how it works so well with the uh, educational arrows. So the first thing on our platform you would do is go up to the strategy tab, click on strategy four, the drop down menu appears and you simply click on signal arrow to check to see if your signal was confirmed. And guess what? You properly identified a valid signal. So that's great. You're learning how to spot them on your own. Uh, once again, that's why we provide you with these up and down arrows. So now let's say that you're uh, a little bit weary. You're not sure of the markets. This has been going sideways. Remember, you've always been taught don't be involved in a sideways market, but you're starting to learn how to let go of those, you know, uh, those uh, kind of inconsistent ideas. And you say, well, I'd like a little bit more assurance. So you want to confirm it with a dynamic duo. You go up to the Pet D tab, click on Pet D, and it automatically changes the colors. As you can see, it was confirmed green. In fact, all the previous bars were green, but that's okay. We're not concerned with them. We're only concerned with the bar above the arrow. So we have a valid dynamic duo by a signal that was generated in ZTS on the 7th of February, a week or so ago, and the stock went up 10 points in the next week. Not a bad signal, right? This was just a couple of weeks ago. Let's look at another example. This was an HAE. This was at the end of January coming into February. First thing we see is that price is below the 50. So are we going to buy this at all? Are we looking at this as some type of support? I don't care what someone says or some class you took that says this is support. Don't <laughs> fall into that trap because the market is the only thing you should be listening to. And because it's below the 50, it's telling you that most likely it wants to go lower. The overall trend is down, so you don't want to be buying anything. Sure, every once in a while, you'll see a bottom formed below the 50. But remember, it's not about picking tops and bottoms. Those things happen once every blue moon. It's about being consistent, two step forward, one step back. And this is the easiest educational tool I can teach you and give you today to have you become consistent by only buying above the 50 and only selling below. So price is below the 50. Doesn't matter if somebody says this is support. Doesn't matter if somebody says the earnings are going to be great. They're coming out next week. We don't care about that. We only care about what the market's telling us. So you've been studying my course for a while and you say, you know what? I think I've uh, properly identified a strategy number four sell signal right here. So how do I check my work? Well, with our platform, you click on strategy number four. The drop down menu appears. You click on signal arrows just to check if you're in line. And guess what? You're correct. It is a valid sell signal. Now, if you want to trade this and you want a little bit more assurance, you would add the pet D. That makes up the dynamic duo. This is a high probability setup if the pet D colors this bar red. So we click on the pet D tab and yes, the bar is red. So what is the market telling us? Not some institution, not some earnings report. What is the market telling us? It's telling us the overall trend is down because we closed below the 50. It's telling us that the short term, it wants to go lower because it closed in its bottom 25%. Another educational rule I taught you today. And then lastly, the pet D, our proprietary short term directional tool, is confirming it by coloring the bar red. So this is a high probability setup to go short. This was on the 31st of January. And guess what? In a week, the stock dropped 15 points. Now, the stock gapped down, as you can see, two days later. Someone would probably say, well, Steve, you probably were, you knew about that news or something which caused it to gap down. Remember, we don't listen to outside sources. We only listen to the market. And that's why I always tell students many times before a news event happens, not guaranteed, but many times the market will tell you in advance. So the market just simply told us in advance it wanted to go lower. So that's therefore there is no reason, even though you can if you want to. Remember, we're not here to tell you how to trade. We're here just to teach you high probability methods and techniques, but you're not required in any way to follow any news. I stopped looking at news 40 years ago. I haven't looked at news since then. So it really doesn't matter if you don't want to look at news. All right, here's a setup in Lulu, okay? Above the 50 period moving average, closed in the top 25% of its range right here, and a valid signal was generated on the 6th of February, okay? To confirm it with our uh, dynamic duo, we add the pet D and guess what? It's colored green. Now, remember, all the bars before that are colored green, but that doesn't make any difference. Sure, that will make you feel better, but it makes no difference. All we care about is that one bar, and it's outlined green since it's up day, then it's outlined. And the stock went up 11 points in three days. 
Here's another example of DVA, okay? It's below the 50-period moving average, closes in the bottom 25% of its range. If you look here, all the bars close in the top or middle of their range until this one. This one closed in the bottom. And someone would say, well, Steve, that's where you want to buy, right? That's a cheap price. No, the market is telling you it wants to go lower. It's much more advantageous if you buy if the market closes in the top 25% and obviously if you're above the 50. But if you're below the 50 and we're closing in the bottom range, that is a really high probability uh, a signal coming from the market, not from me, not from some uh, you know institution, but coming from the market telling you it wants to go lower. Now we confirm it with a pet D and guess what? It's the first red bar. So this is a high probability setup to go short according to the pet D. And as you can see, DVA fell 15 points. Now, one of the best things about strategy four is if the, the trend is strong enough, if it keeps on going in that direction, as you can see, all the bars are red by the pet D, many times more signals will be generated. So if you miss that first one, don't worry. There was another signal generated on the 13th of December. All right, let's look at Facebook, okay? This is what we call a cluster of signals. Now, this is just only two signals together, but that's a kind of a mini cluster. A lot of times students will say, well, that's a great sign, right, Steve? Because if you get two signals next to each other, that's more confirmation. Well, not necessarily. Sure, it can be a good sign, but remember that first example I shared with you in IBM, where you had three signals in a row and then they all fell down, the market cap down two points or so? Well. Let's confirm this with the PET D to see if this is a good setup. And as you can see, yes, they were both outlined green. So now it's a high probability setup in both of those instances. And as you can see, the stock gapped up and was up 25 points a week or so later. Once again, someone would say, well, yeah, you guys probably followed the earnings or you knew that announcement was gonna come up. No, the market often tells you in advance. There's no reason to look at those things. Take it from someone who was on the floor some 40 years ago, who used to look at any and every earnings announcement of all the 60 talks I traded. I knew with anticipation all the estimates of all the earnings. I knew who all the CEOs were. I knew what was supposed to be happening with the company, what direction they were going. And guess what? 40 years ago, that didn't work for me. So if it didn't work then, it's not about to start working now. It's the same information. It's just too subjective. You know, how many times have you seen some great, uh, you know, great fundamental news come out in a stock or something and it, and it goes straight down or vice versa. You see some terrible news, it goes down a little bit, then goes straight up. It's just too subjective. It's much easier and simpler to listen to the market. And although not guaranteed, many times the market will give you signals in advance. Here's an example in Coors, K-O-R-S. Now, I believe this company has changed their name, but before they changed their name, uh, the symbol was K-O-R-S, and this was going back to October. Now, we are below the 50-period moving average. Once again, a mini cluster of sell signals, two signals generated right next to each other. They've already started to go down, but if this is really going to be a powerful setup, we want to confirm it with the PAT D. We add the PAT D, and we see that, yes, those two bars, along with all the others, were colored red. So this is a high probability setup that we're going lower, 30 points coming into the end of the year. Now, you potentially could have captured 30 points, but we have some students that like to trade in and out and maybe we take a point and move on to the next one. We have other students that like to take, you know, a certain two to one risk reward ratio. That's fine. And they get out. It's entirely up to you. There is no one right or wrong way to trade. The only wrong way to trade is when you base all of your decisions off of what someone or something else is telling you what to do. Unfortunately, this is the way the entire industry is based. I mean, you're supposed to go to a chat room or a trading room to find out what everyone else is doing. You're supposed to listen to the so-called trading gurus on TV to find out what they like and what they don't like. You're supposed to take the $10,000 course to find out how to listen to, you know, uh, market institutions or Fibonacci or, or uh, Elliott Wave levels. I was trading those things 40 years ago and I couldn't make a dime. It's a lot easier if you just focus on the chart in front of you and a lot cheaper. You don't have to waste your time and energy uh, spending your money on all these courses and things that really show no levels of consistency. And lastly, we look at NOW. This is the, the uh, chart example we started off the presentation with. The reason why we bought this, or at least we're looking to buy, was because we were above the 50 period, okay? I don't care if someone says, well, Steve, we're in a range here or this is, this is resistance, right? You don't want to buy into resistance. There's no such thing as a, a range of resistance. There's only what the market wants to do. If the market's above the 50, 
it's telling you it's in an overall uptrend. So you should be looking for buy signals. But just because it's above the 50 does not give you the right to simply buy at the market. You need some structure. So that's the first line of structure. We have to be above the 50. The second rule I taught you today is we look for a bar that closes in the top 25% of its range. And none of these bars are closing in the top 25% of the range except this one right here. All right, so the first two rules, which I taught you today as part of your ed educational uh, a free uh, gimme today, uh, are generating a buy signal. Now, the third rule came into play. So this was a valid strategy number four buy signal. In order to see if it's a high probability setup, a dynamic duo setup, we want to apply the pet D. We apply it and we see that, yes, that bar was colored green. You see how one of the bars before was colored red, the other ones were green, and this one was green before. It makes no difference. Don't worry what the other bars were. In this particular way of using the PAT-D, we're only concerned with the setup bar. So it would make no difference if all of these bars were red. Don't worry about that. As long as this is a valid strategy for a buy signal, and as long as the PAT-D, the, the number two in, the, in that one-two punch, is colored in it green, this is a high probability setup to go long. Now, once again, we don't tell you how to go long. You can purchase uh, options if you want, calls, some type of a spread strategy with an upward bias. You can actually buy the stock. It's entirely up to you. And you can decide on when you want to take your profit. Try and go out for the entire 47 point potential. Maybe take one or two points. Maybe get out once it gapped up. Remember, you are in charge of your own trading. And people would ask me, say, well, Steve, why do I have to be in charge? I don't understand. Why can't you just tell me where the best exit is, or where the best entry is, because that would be doing a disservice to you because no two traders should ever trade alike. Trust me, the entire industry is based on you mimicking what someone is generating signals on a daily basis or some master trader or some system. If the entire industry works so well, then why is it estimated that 80 to 85 percent of all traders fail? It's because you've taken yourself out of the game and you're relying on someone or something else to make the decisions. You have to make the decision as to where you want to enter, where you want to exit, where you want to place your stop. But once you do, that's when you start to become a consistent trader. So my goal as an educator is not, once again, to force feed you signals and to tell you how to trade the way I trade. My goal is simply to provide you with high probability setups and education so that you can, for the first time, be in charge of your own trading destiny. That's what makes you a consistent trader. All right, let's look at some other markets with the dynamic duo signals applied, okay? Now, I know a lot of people like to trade ETFs. Let's look at the spiders. This was a signal generated on the 7th of February. We're above the 50. The bar closed in the top 25%, and the other rule for the setup phase was met, the other requirement. So we have a valid setup to go long, just based off strategy number four. If we want to see if it's a high probability setup, we apply the PET-D, and yes, the bar is colored green, outlined green. So this is a high probability setup. And look what happened. On the 7th, you could have gone long the spiders and it went up eight points. But what a lot of our students like to do is apply strategy number four to ETFs or to indices. And if there's a buy or sell signal, it's basically telling you what the market's going to do. As you can see here, you didn't necessarily have to buy the spiders. You could have used this as a, just a directional tool for the market, as a signal what the market might do. And the market actually went up 800 points in the next week. So you could have purchased, uh, you know, futures, uh, you could have purchased calls, any way to take advantage of an up market. Now, that was an ETF. That's the spiders, the, the ETF that represents the, uh, the um, S&P 500 index. Let's look at the E-mini futures. Here is a 30-minute chart of the E-mini futures going back to the 14th, which was just uh, last week. All right. It's a 30-minute chart. It's kind of oscillating above and below the 50-period moving average. But let's look at the last three bars. We close below, we close below, and we close below. So that's enough for us to have a high probability setup. And let's just say after your uh, you know, education and after you've been looking at the course, you say, you know what? I think this is a valid setup bar to go short. Strategy number four, okay? So the first thing you want to do is click on the strategy number four tab. The drop-down menu appears. You click on signal arrow, and it was confirmed. You adequately uh, identified a strategy number four sell signal. But that's just strategy number four. What if you want to see if it's a high probability setup? Well, you add the pet D. And this is what makes it so simple on our platform. It's as simple as just clicking on the pet D tab and the colors will change. And as you can see, that setup bar is colored red. 
So you have a high probability dynamic duo sell signal on a 30 minute chart of the E-mini. This was just last week on Valentine's Day. And look what happened in the next day. 17 points to the downside or 850 potential uh, dollars captured per contract. Once again, how you want to exit, how you want to place your stop, how you want to enter is entirely up to you. Some students would have taken one or two points and said, thank you, I'm moving on to the next signal. Others would have said, I'm holding out for as many points as possible. I'm going to use one of Steve's methods uh, to track the trade, to follow it. Another one would have said, you know what, I'm uh, just going to take a two to one risk reward ratio and get out of there. It's entirely up to you. Let's look at currency pairs. Here's a four hour chart in the British pound going back to the 18th, which was just coming in Monday. OK, this is a four hour chart. We are above the 50. OK, we're looking for bars that close in the top 25 percent. When someone said, well, why in the top 25 percent? Because we're above the 50. We're not going to sell anything. If we were selling, we look for bars in the bottom 25 percent. There's one right here. There's one right here. But we're looking for bars in the top. There's so far, there's nothing in the top except right here. So we think this is a valid setup because of the course rules, we know that the last requirement was met as well. Once again, I'm sorry, I can't divulge what that is. It's based off pattern recognition and we teach that in the course. So you ultimately know how to identify that specific pattern. Well, everything, all the rules, all the requirements were met. You want to make sure you're in line. You click on strategy number four. The drop down menu appears. Click on signal arrow just to check your work. And you're right. A buy arrow was generated there. So on this four hour chart of the British pound, it's saying there is a valid strategy number four buy signal. But maybe you don't want to take that. Maybe you want a little bit of additive insurance. OK, you apply the pet D and applying the pet D, you see that all the bars are green. But all you want to make sure is the bottom bar is green, the last one. Now, even though we closed down on the day, that's OK. The bar is still green. You see these two bars closed down and they have a green shade inside. That just means that they're days that close down, but the overall trend is still up. So there's no reason to think you should be shorting this because the overall trend is still up. Even if you have a down day, it's still up. So this would give you the confidence to go along the British pound and it went up 160 pips in the next three days or three hours, I should say. Oh, I'm sorry, 12 hours. That should be one day. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're looking at a four hour chart. That's sixteen hundred dollars potentially per contract you would have purchased. All right. So let's recap before we go into question and answer portion. Once again, what did we talk about? We talked that in order to succeed in today's markets, to be able to be a consistent trader, you need that one two punch. What are the components of that? Well, the first one is a strategy that has a high level of consistency. That's strategy number four. I gave you two of the rules to strategy number four as a service just to educate you as we do in all of our presentations. And a way to confirm to make sure that it's a high probability setup is to apply the pet D. When you apply these two components, when you put these one, two punches together, you have what we call our dynamic duo. OK, now ask yourself what I've taught you today. The two components, what I taught you today and all the examples. Do you think the dynamic duo could have helped your trading this past year? Or let's go even further. Do you think it can help you going forward for the remainder of this year, 2019? Well, if you answered yes, we have a great special for all the attendees today. We're going to offer you a great package for the Dynamic Duo Special. This is the strategy number four and the Pet D tool. We're going to give you instant course access, upwards of 20 videos, all explaining all the entire course rules, entries, exits, and stops. One of the best things is, is that this includes both add-ons. So if you trade with, uh, if your platform is TradeStation, uh, NinjaTrader, Sierra Charts, uh, Metastock, MT4, just about almost all of the major platforms that people use, you can apply strategy number four with the up and down arrows as well as the pet D tool that will automatically color the bar. So not to worry if uh, you have your own specific platform that you like to use, we can furnish you with the add-ons for both of those. Now, another special thing about this is that the pet D, it just doesn't come with that one way in which to trade. There are multiple, not dozens of ways in which to apply the pet D. We explain this in our pet D course and we give you four more trading techniques just by applying the pet D alone. So this is a great, great course. And let me just share with you what happened in the last week. All right. Let's look at this uh, example here in TNET, T-N-E-T. -E OK, once again, if you're someone who likes to go into a chat room or a trading room, let's say that the, the people in there say, no, no, we don't touch this because we're always taught to stay away, stay away from range markets. 
But look at the range on this for the past week or so. This is where you get whipsawed. Like if I had bought right here, I would have lost when it went down here. If I sold and then it's going back up, you want to stay away till there's a breakout. Whereas others would say, well, no, we don't really look at it that way. I took this 10,000 course where we follow the institutions, and this is clear-cut resistance. All the institutions are selling here. We cannot buy anything. In fact, when we get closer to this line, this is where we want to sell. Once again, this is the way, my, myself included, the way most traders trade. This is the way I used to trade some 40 years ago, listening to someone or something tell me where to buy and where to sell. It wasn't until my mentors taught me how to listen to the market that I started learning and becoming more consistent because I was able to identify what the market wanted to do. Just by simply adding a 50 period moving average, I knew that the market wanted to go higher. So there's no way I'm gonna to listen to someone in a chat room or some institution. I'm listening to the market. The market's telling me the overall trend is up until it has consecutive closes below the 50. And then secondly, I wanted to find bars that close, oops, in the top 25% of the range as it did right here. So this is a valid buy signal that was generated just uh, last week in TNET, all right? In order to see if it's a high probability signal, we wanna apply the pet D. As we see there, that bar is gr colored green, it's outlined green. So on the 11th, you had a very high probability buy setup that you could have found out had you been a member of our course already, and the stock went up 15 points in four days. Now, obviously, I believe uh, the 15th, just uh, last week, last Friday, some news came out where it gapped up. Once again, it's not required. If you want to, you can follow news. It is not required in any way that you listen to news. I, you know, this signal was not based off anything that is fundamental uh, in terms of uh, news or in terms of fundamental uh, analysis. It's strictly looking at the chart and listening to what the market wants to do. And it's not complicated. The first two rules uh, that I taught you today are not complicated, right? Well, the third rule is just the same. It's not complicated at all. It's simply looking for a specific pattern. So this is what you get in our Dynamic Duo Special. All this included with this comes educational correspondence. You have my personal email. Whenever you'd like to ask me a question or maybe say, Steve, can you look at this chart? Tell me what you see here. Uh, I'm having difficulty. Email me and I'll be uh, uh, sure to answer you back as soon as possible with an email and get back to you. Anytime you want to uh, have a question answer, I'm right there for it. Now. Let me share with you what this would normally cost. If we broke it down, if you purchase strategy number four separately without this special that we have today, it would cost you close to $700 just to purchase it on your own. If you bought the pet D separately on its own without this special we have today, it would cost you close to $3,000. But altogether, you would be sending close to $3,700 to get the dynamic duo. Not to worry, we're not going to charge you that. We're not going to come anywhere near that. We have a great discount. Pro Trader Strategies, who handles all the discounts, the tech support with our strategies and with the add ons, they have a great special for you today. What they're going to offer you is our Dynamic Duo special. We're going to have an introductory application fee of $497, less than $500. And then it's as simple as just paying $97 per month. That's it. So for less than $500 an uh, application fee and then $97 per month, you'll be able to have the add-ons. You can apply to TradeStation. You can apply to Metastock, NinjaTrader. Uh, uh, we can also apply it in a, with Thinkorswim, but with applying a NinjaTrader uh, platform to it as well because uh, Thinkorswim doesn't allow us to post our indicators on their platform, but they will allow us to use their data. So we will set up a NinjaTrader platform that has it automatically set up for you. You can also do it on Metastock, okay, on MT4. Now, if you're completely convinced and you say, I don't want to purchase this and, and pay every month, I'm willing to do it right now. Well, it would be a one-time fee, one-time payment of $29.95, and we'll also include one-year free PTS Primo charting platform. So what you saw today with our, all the things, I was just pressing a button and the pet D was magically appearing and the strategy four drop-down window, this is what you get with our PTS Primo charts. Included with the strategy and the pet D trend identifier, you're also going to get proprietary exit levels. All right. That comes included with it over 90 technical indicators. And one of the best things about this is the signal scanner where you'll be able to scan on a nightly basis for the dynamic duo setups. Okay. You also get Bloomberg TV. If you're a fundamental trader and you like to listen to the news as it's being reported live, that's on our platform and then personalized tech support. This comes with your purchase. Okay. So remember two ways to purchase. Less than $500, a one-time activation fee, $497, and then just $97 per month. 
or the one-time payment of $29.95, which includes one year of the PTS Primo charts free. Remember, you can apply the add-ons to any platform, just about any platform you want, but you can also get the platform for free for one year if you wanna just have the uh, yearly uh, one-time pay. So here's how to take advantage of this, okay? Once again, contact Pro Trader Strategies. They handle all the discounts, all the tech support, everything with the Pro Trader Strategies uh, Primo uh, Charts platform. Any question, if you're interested in that, you can ask them. You can call them directly at area code 310-598-6677 or simply go to this uh, link at the very bottom. I don't believe that's a live link, but if you look in the chat box, a live link has been just posted. You can click that on and it will automatically take you there. So I'm going to leave this information up here. Remember, this is a great offer. It's for a limited time only. Okay, so you have to take advantage of this quickly. It may be over in just a day or so. So take advantage of it. If you have any questions, now is the time. Just go to your question and answer box and type them in, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Okay. Okay, let me see here. We have a number of questions. Uh, first one, are you recording this? Yes, we are. We're recording this. So um, don't worry if you came in late or if you have to leave early. Uh, we will send you a link to this. The only thing we ask for our students or our members is to not sit on this uh, recording and say, okay, I got the recording. I'll watch it next week because after watching the recording and the examples for maybe two or three times, you say, okay, I'm convinced. I want to take advantage of this. But by that time, it may go back up to $3,700. So uh, watch the, the link to the recording uh, as quickly as possible so you can make your decision. Okay. I don't want you to lose this great, great offer. Um, let's see here. No, let's see. Some people are asking about uh, the strategy four. Do you feel comfortable using strategy four in front of the earnings report? Uh, yeah, well, see, that's once again, I personally don't look at earnings. I don't even know when an earnings report is coming out. So I, I wouldn't even know when an earnings comes anyway. It's up to you, though. If you've listened to what I've been saying, you are in charge of your own trading decisions. We're not telling you how to trade. We're just teaching you high probability setups. And then we teach you how to enter, how to exit, how to place your stop. We give you six to seven different variables in all those different categories. So ultimately, you make your decision. If you feel that you know an earnings report is coming out and you, you don't feel comfortable, well, then by all means, don't take the trade. But remember, the, the supreme uh, uh, sin I can do as your teacher is to tell you not to trade in front of an earnings report because that, I'm telling you what to do. That is the exact opposite of what we teach at Pro Trader Strategies and, and at Special Trading. We don't tell you what to do. We give you the information and then work with you so that you can decide. Now, we have some students that say, oh, yeah, I never trade in front of earnings. I don't feel comfortable, and I've had some losing trades before. Then fine, then that's the right answer for you. But we also have students that say, I don't even look at that stuff. I've had some great trades before earnings reports. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Is there a right or wrong way? No. The right or wrong way is to trade the way someone tells you. You should be in charge of that, okay? Um, people are asking about Thinkorswim. Yes, we can apply it to Thinkorswim, but a slightly altered version. The only reason, once again, is because where a trade station or MetaStock or NinjaTrader allows us to post our up and down arrows and our color bars of the pet D automatically on the charts, Thinkorswim doesn't. They don't allow people to, to have that. So what they said, they said, listen, we don't allow that, but we will allow you to uh, splice our data feed. You can use our data feed and apply a platform to that. So what they have allowed us to do is use their data at no extra charge. So what we do is we give you, if you if you want to be still using Thinkorswim, we give you a free Ninja Trader platform. We set it up for you with the Pet D and Strategy 4 already applied. So all you have to do is toggle back and forth between the Ninja Trader and think or swim, and you'll see the up and down green or red arrows, and you'll see the up and down uh, uh, green or red um, bars that are supplied by the PET-D. Once again, though, the simplest way, in my opinion, is by applying our PTS Primo charting platform. And, and, and you can talk to Pro Trader Strategies. They can, they can provide you with that as well. So that's another great offer. It's, it's simpler because there's nothing you have to upload or download. It's automatically there, and uh, it's one click away, okay? Um, Lewis is asking, can you cancel any time? Yes. Uh, so in other words, it, let's say you're doing it for uh, three to six months and you say, okay, I've done well. I kind of don't need this anymore. I understand the rules. Uh, I don't need the $97 uh, fee. I can kind of figure on just trading strategy for Yes, you can cancel any time. Just contact ProTrader Strategies and, and uh, that will be your last month's payment whenever you decide to cancel, okay? Um, 
let's see. Someone saying, Susanna saying, having speed problems with the uh, presentation. Oh, don't worry, Susanna. We will provide each and every one of you with a link to this recording, okay? Now, people are asking about different speeds of the PET D and stuff. I don't want to go too much into information for that because it's kind of complicating things. It's up to you. Remember, you're in charge. The PET D is a great tool. You can apply it any way you'd like, fast or slow. It's along with the strategy number four, you can enter air anywhere you'd like. You can exit anywhere you'd like. The, the point we're trying to make is that, yes, you are in charge. You can alter it to meet your needs. It's up to you. Uh, I know it's a very hard concept for people to grasp. It was difficult for me to grasp because I wanted my mentors to tell me exactly where to buy, where to sell, where to exit, where to place my stop. And they told me the exact same thing I'm telling you. And I was extremely frustrated. I said, why can't you just tell me where you're exiting? <laughs> why can't you just tell me where you bought it? And where, which stocks you're looking at. I said, they said the same thing I'm telling you. They said, I would be doing you a disservice because once I leave the floor, once you leave the floor, how are you going to learn how to trade? How are you going to know? And plus, you should only be the one making your decisions, not someone else. As I said earlier, the entire industry is based on someone telling you where to buy and where to sell. And if that works so well, why is it estimated that upwards of 85% of all traders fail? It's because no true trader should ever trade alike. You have to be a part of the process. Imagine you saw a doctor in the middle of a brain sur surgery, okay? And he leaned over to his nurse and said, okay, what do you think I should do here? Okay, why don't you tell me what, how do I should uh, operate? I mean, you would think that's silly. It's unbelievable, right? But that's the way traders trade. They're always saying, what do you think of this stock? Or what do you think I should exit or buy it, you know? It's your hard-earned money. You should be in charge of the process. It's no different from being a brain surgeon or an airline pilot. You don't want to ask somebody how to land the plane. It's the same way with trading. It's your money. You don't want to ask someone what I should buy or what I should sell. You should be in charge. It's the same concept, okay? So uh, in closing, what I want to say is what we want to do is have someone you know, talk to you if you're having questions. I see there's a lot of questions about people asking about, well, if I have to cancel or how can I get the uh, platform on Thinkorswim or uh, is there any way I can use this uh, if I already have purchased strategy for? My recommendation is to simply call up ProTrader Strategies. There's absolutely no, there's no, uh, you know, obligation. They'll answer any question you have, talk about a discount with you. And if you're interested, they'll put it together over the phone. You can be up and running in just a few hours, okay? So as we close here, I just hope you got something out of this. Remember, we're a little bit different from other webinars you may have seen in the past in that we're trying to educate you. And with every webinar, even the free webinars, as you saw today, we always want to give you some little bit of educational expertise so that you can see for yourself that this stuff really does work. It will increase your odds for consistency over time. So try the two rules I shared with you. And if you see that there's added to some success in some way, the way you've been trading, or you see there is some consistency in that, I really strongly suggest that you contact ProTrader Strategies and take uh, advantage of this great, great discount, okay? As we close here, I want you to take one last look at our disclaimer, and I just want to say thank you so much for attending today, and I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine, and most especially students in the Dynamic Duo course. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.